William, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. And first off from me, congratulations on 25 years with Tech Tour. It's been amazing. And I'd love to ask you some questions about kind of how did this come about 25 years ago? What was going on in your mind, 1998, when you decided to found Europe Unlimited and when you kind of moved into this journey? What was going on? Well, first of all, thank you, Rick, for taking the time to speak to, to me and for all those listening. To listen, and please stay tuned, I would say. It's uh, delightful to be speaking to you, Rick. Uh, I want to go back to when I was actually 20 years. Mm -hmm. Not that long ago, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> my fiancé, uh, who is now my wife still, um, she uh, heard on the radio... Um, the first secretary general of the European Venture Capital Association. And he said, venture capital is people who invest in people. Mm. And I had no clue what venture capital was, but these people investing in people really struck my mind. So that's, I got a, a interested as a student in venture capital. And I managed to be uh, doing several projects as a student, learning what was venture capital. I went to Japan. I did a lot of studies. I met this first secretary general, which was a very inspiring person and inspiring people make you do things and focus on this. Mm. So uh, 25 years later, after I found the tech tour, um, what I'm most proud of is that we are really helping entrepreneurs to meet investors on a personal level, whether we do that in person at events or uh, online as well using the right ways I, I believe that's actually entrepreneurs and not investors that make the difference because they are transforming innovation into solutions and of course there's a lot of competition for what innovation becomes a real solution it needs investment it needs different things but at the end of the day entrepreneurs are wonderful people to work for and with and of course, in, investors make uh, these things uh, happen. So I'm, I'm proud that uh, we started Tech Tour um, as Europe Limited before with that mission that we merged with Tech Tour actually 12 years ago, uh, all with the purpose of making Europe a smaller place for entrepreneurs, meeting the right people. Hmm. You know, William, when you look at the world today with what's going on, it's the complexity is just astounding. It's it's overwhelming at times. And I can't help but think that what you're doing with Tech Tour, people investing in people, is a, a really important and kind of a key element there that the whole ecosystem of entrepreneurs, investors, government agencies, all of the support mechanisms that they have to be there if we're going to solve some of these big problems. What do, you, what do you find most inspiring about this whole ecosystem that you and Tech Tour are so at the center of? So in the last uh, 25 years, Europe is always catching up with the U.S. European entrepreneurs always raise like a fraction of the U.S. investors. And basically it comes down to a fragmentation of the European market. And you could say, well, that structural problem that will not be good for Europe forever. I think we have to look at it in another way. It's a fantastic set of diverse uh, communities, markets, difficulties, challenges that actually need to be served. So there is not one fits all solution for people around the world looking for innovation. So uh, at the end of the day, we have to take advantage of the fragmented or diverse European market or the international market, which is also even more diverse than the European market. And that's what we take to where we're trying to do, um, looking at specific markets, where there are specific needs, bringing the right entrepreneurs together and of course the right investors with diverse backgrounds. So. At the end, my plea is how can we transform mm -hmm. Europe's fragmentation and diversity into a great opportunity? That is inspiring, William. That is really inspiring. The idea that we're able to see through our differences and to really 
unite and to be able to pull together. That's great. What do you think about the future? How do you see this whole ecosystem, both here in Europe and, 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 and globally? How do you see this changing going into the future? So I think if you look at it in the past, uh, we have uh, had a transactional model. An entrepreneur goes out, raise funds, and then some investors are willing to sign the check, and then they sit on the board, and they are trying to find then a way to collaborate. I think in the future, we are going to a collaborative model, uh, because even the largest companies cannot solve biggest problems on their own, even the more specific problems. So they're always part of an ecosystem. So I think with European entrepreneurs and investors or international entrepreneurs and investors, we have to learn how to collaborate in a smart way to raise funding, to co-invest with each other, to work with the right people, to work with the right people on the board, to work, work with customers as partners, to work with the ecosystem, whether it be government or healthcare systems or energy infrastructure providers or digital security providers in an inclusive way. So it's the future is not transactional, it's collaborative that will deliver partnerships, relationships that deliver partnerships. So Tektor wants to contribute to that. Uh, following market opportunities, pains if you wish in the market that exists and working with different entrepreneurs in the in a kind of club atmosphere, but always inclusive, open, uh, to address these issues. Well, that's really lovely. And, you know, I can't help but believe that some of the problems that we're facing on planet Earth here today, most of the problems that we're facing on planet Earth today, we can solve, but we have to learn to collaborate. We have to learn to work together as teams, not as individuals. And so I love what you guys are doing at Tech Tour. As a final question, how about, a shout out to your team. You have this amazing team that you've put together. What would you like to say to them on the anniversary of 25 years uh, of, of Tech Tour and Europe Unlimited? Well, that's an important question, Rick. So I would like to say thank you for the 25 years to, to Jana, to Yusef, to Tanya, and many others that we work with at the Tech Tour team. I would say the Tech Tour team is also outside the company. We work with so many volunteers uh, from the investor side, but also on the regional ecosystem. A big shout out to them uh, because Tektor wouldn't exist without them. And, and I think that's my message for the future. Let's be reaching out to those great people in the community and, and let's work together. And um, let's take a bit of risk as well uh, to make that happen. So thank you to the team both within the Tech Tour team, but also outside, and including to you, Rick, as a, as a big champion uh, of, and I learned a lot from you, how to communicate, and still have to learn much more, by the way. <laughs> so thank you for, for reaching out, Rick, and, and doing this interview. You're most welcome, most welcome, William, and congratulations again.